Hello everybody, this is uh, Davide Falessi, the multimedia editor of Vasicus Doctor, and today I'm uh, very happy to introduce you uh, this interview uh, that uh, aims to uh, capture and understand a senior manager viewpoint on achieving and maintaining a CMMI maturity level 5 in a small organization. And this uh, multimedia contribution is linked to a paper uh, that is entitled uh, A Journey in Achieving and Maintaining CMMI Maturity Level 5 in a Small Organization. So today I have the possibility to interview uh, two colleagues of mine that are uh, Shane Olson, who is uh, uh, Olson, who is the president of Keymind Division of Lumen Point, and uh, Shannon Taylor, who is the Vice President of Operation for the Keymind Division of Blooming Point. Hello, Shane, and hello, Shannon. Hello. Hello, Davide. Uh, so, uh, the first question is uh, just to understand that your role is uh, how much have you been involved in the CMMI initiative in uh, achieving level five, both in terms of years or in terms of role? Sure. Uh, both Shannon and I have been involved uh, since the beginning, which is about 11 years ago. Uh, I was the on the steering committee, and Shannon? Uh, I initially, my role was as a project manager, um, and about six years ago, I uh, started managing the operations for the division, so I became more of a high-level senior manager um, looking across the organization on all of the different processes. Okay. So, uh, the first question I have to you is uh, regarding the Keymind CMMI initiative to reach uh, level 5. Uh, can you describe uh, what you think uh, went uh, particularly well during the journey? Sure. I think the uh, the thing we made the best decision on was empowering our staff to own the processes and, and solutions uh, to the findings that we had and, and the gaps that we had. Uh, if we hadn't done that, I don't believe anybody would be practicing uh, what we do today. Uh-huh. And, uh, I mean, what challenges did you have and uh, what uh, would, you do, would you do differently? When we originally started out, on our CMMI journey, uh, we decided to have all of the actual day-to-day -day practitioners of the different processes document their own processes. And so that was to be done in a group setting. So for instance, I was a project manager at the time and several of us that were project managers sat down in several sessions trying to, as a group, <coughs> write the processes However, time constraints with other work that we were that we had that was billable to different clients just made the process very long and um, trying to come to agreement on wording was was difficult to to draft things as a group so after trying that approach for quite a while, it became clear that it just was not going to be the most effective path forward, and so we ended up using, empowering one of our staff to take the lead on drafting all of the process documentation with the help of our colleagues at Fraunhofer, and so through using that process, we had someone who owned the drafting side of things and then would have the actual practitioners review it and tweak it so that it was appropriate. And it made it a faster process. It's always easier for people to review documentation and see where there are gaps instead of trying to draft everything as a, as a team. So it set up the process of documenting things and making sure that we had a good foundation for our processes. Great. Uh, so uh, can you now share some thoughts about the overall impact of the CMMI journey on the business? And I think uh, this question can be answered in two ways. One is uh, during the journey, and one is after the uh, 
uh, Maduri's level five has been uh, achieved. So, uh, what was the impact during the journey? Well, during the journey, our staff, we have a very team-based culture. And so, what actually worked very well, that using the team-based culture that is inherent to our organization, the CMMI process kind of brought people even closer together. There was a goal, and people there really rallied around that goal and supported each other, even though there were, you know, many different roles on the project. There were project managers. There were technical staff. There were front-end user experience staff. However, everyone came together and worked as a team, and it just it really enhanced our culture, and it also enhanced the teamwork of the organization because everyone really was we we had a we we decided to coin the drive for five as our our motto. our motto for moving towards level five and everyone really embraced the drive for five and and really worked together to get to that goal okay and uh uh how the impact uh, was to the business after the Maduri Level 5 achievement? I think it's affected us in a, a number of ways. I think in the general uh, Washington, D.C. area, even though we're a, a fairly small company in the grand scheme of things, we have we get a lot of uh, respect for having re- achieved Level 5. Um, just a handful of companies in the area are Level 5. Um, people know we're serious. We deliver high-quality products. Um, so from a reputation standpoint, um, you know, we, we really have, it's really enhanced, I think, our reputation, uh, both because of our history being around for, you know, essentially 17 years, but also having a, achieved, um, you know, such a, a high level of maturity. Um, the other is, of course, in the business side, uh, just our ability to, you know, uh, again, deliver high-quality products that are predictable, uh, profitable from a business standpoint, um, and being able to learn from our mistakes and, and not get into them again because of the metrics that we're gathering at the level four and five uh, maturity. Uh-huh. So in general, do you think the investment was uh, worth the money or the effort? And if yes, why? And if not, why? Uh, I definitely think that the investment was worth it. I mean, even outside of achieving our level five maturity, there the the process of documenting all of the processes that we use in our day to day business and in bringing into our our work process all of these tools that help us to track everything on a day to day basis. Um, tools that we use to track project management activities and requirements management activities, and then to be able to look at metrics to see how we're doing from a from a, a overall process improvement standpoint to make sure that we're actually following the processes that we have in place. All of those tools have just made it much easier to explain to new employees or to new customers how we actually go about our day-to-day business. How do we get things done? And then it also allows a more visibility into um, into our, our processes so clients can actually see what is going on. There's much more transparency because of these tools that we have. Okay. So uh, what do you think was the impact, whether it was positive or negative, uh, to the employees? Of the organization. I think the biggest impact and and I think one of the main drivers behind our doing this was to get you know some order out of out of chaos, which you know generally software development, if it's not planned, you know can be very chaotic and um, you know having started out in nineteen ninety seven and going through the early uh, two thousand time frame, we had a little bit of a methodology, but it really was not you know, mature after having analyzed it over 11 years. So um, this really brought a quality of life to our employees. You know, you're always going to have a few things here and there, uh, but for the most part, they're able to, you know, come in at a reasonable hour, leave at a reasonable hour, 
um, and plan their lives around work versus, you know, work driving uh, uh, their out-of-office uh, quality of life. Okay. So uh, I think the interview is almost done, and uh, you think you can take this opportunity to add uh, anything else you would like to share, Shane and Shannon. Please go ahead. I think one of the, you know, having done this internally and, and uh, again, over the last 11 years, you know, we've been able to hear some validation from some staff that have moved on to other companies, uh, number one, upon their leaving, saying, hey, I'm never working at a company that's not at least level three, just having enjoyed uh, having some structure. Um, and then others that have left and come back and said, wow, I didn't realize I had it so good there. So, um, you know, kind of working in a vacuum, it's, it's good to hear, uh, you know, you know, for some reason or other people leaving and, and kind of validating uh, the impact we've had on, on our uh, processes here. Okay. Is there uh, anything you want to add, Shannon, or is it fine? Uh, I can't think of anything that I'd like to add. Okay. So uh, thank you very much for the interview and for the listener. This was uh, Davide Favetti, the multimedia editor of uh, iDegree Software, and we discussed the uh, a senior manager uh, viewpoint on achieving and maintaining a uh, senior mind maturity level five in a small organization. So thank you, Shane, and thank you, Shannon. Thanks, Davide. Thank you.